etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. Throughout your whole golf journey, you are going to hear etiquette a lot. Well, don't get too stressed out on etiquette, but it is something that is extremely important for you to learn throughout your golf journey. Your golf swing will be ever evolving. Even till right now, 15 years in, I'm still working on things. That's part of your golf swing. But golf etiquette is something you can learn quite early in your golf journey, which is why, if you've probably seen my previous video on etiquette, this is round two, and there'll be many more rounds for you to learn because there's a lot of information on golf etiquette. Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know a lot of you have already subscribed and thank you for doing that, but if you're new, feel free to click the button right over there. Today I have a very special guest, Mr. Shane Hawksworth. He is a superintendent at My Laura Golf Course. He will be telling us what does that mean, what does superintendent do, where does your golf cart go? All the right places from the tee box to the fairway to the green. Where do you put your golf cart or as they call it in England, your buggy or your push cart that we say in North America, which they call a trolley in England. And if you're carrying your bag, where are you supposed to put it as well? So we will go through the etiquette of all of those three things, which is very important, as I've told you in the beginning, being on the golf course. Thank you so much for doing this and talking to the golfer that doesn't really know what a superintendent is or what your roles and responsibilities are, which we'll go through. And then we'll also go through from Shane's standpoint. So we'll go through all the little bits and pieces. But first off, for the beginner golfer who doesn't really know what a superintendent is or what a superintendent does on a golf course, can you explain that to us? Well, there's lots of roles for sure. Basically, you are the manager of the grounds crew, links crew who maintains and does all the maintenance on the actual golf course. Okay. Um, you know, all the mowing, breaking bunkers kind of stuff. So your team does that. Uh, as the superintendent, you're kind of in charge of doing all the organizing for the year, like the budgeting, fertilizing programs, sanding, top dressing, aerating, kind of planning that out, like when you're gonna do it, and intervals, all that kind of stuff, um, as well as setting the daily goals for your team, like who's gonna do what, like Mow who's mowing lawn. what, who's mowing this, who's mowing that, what days you're gonna do it, kinda, yeah, the, all that kind of stuff, so. So the yeah, superintendent it it. has to organize, essentially employ all the people. Yeah. Organize their daily tasks. Correct. And you have a budget you have to work within. And then on top of that, I guess, according to the weather or yep. what's going on as totally, well on yeah. that day, like yeah. if you're fertilizing in X month and exactly. then waiting for, okay, so you're organizing everything in terms of the golf course, the green yeah. on the golf course. Basically everything out here, trees, the ponds. Right. The, Even the bunkers, benches, yes. the, the steps, like we kind of do all that. All of it, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, Shane, so we're done with all the superintendent questions. Now we are on the tee box here in My Laura. Let's talk about a few things. One, where people should put their golf bags. So let's pretend like I'm carrying my golf bag, which today I am, I'm carrying my golf bag. We, where should we put it? I have put it over here, parallel to where the tee box is. So right over here with my bag out. Is this, am I, am I allowed to have my bag on the tee box? Yes. You can come closer. Sorry. <laughs> a, a bag on the tee box is completely fine. Like there's nothing, we don't have an issue with that obviously. It's probably, it's more per how it affects the people you're golfing with probably than actual affecting the turf or anything. Okay. So it'd probably be more up to how you, where you want to put it. Right. Like, so I'll talk about that in a second. How about, we'll go another tee box, but how about push carts? If I had a trolley, is what they would call it in England, or a push cart in Canada, yeah. am I putting it on the tee box or no? No, we do not want push carts 
No. On tee boxes. How about my golf carts? Definitely no golf carts on the tee boxes either. That is a no. I think the rule of thumb is to try to stay 30 feet away from greens or tee boxes is kind of the okay. with yeah. With golf carts or the push cart. Push cart. Okay, so I've just hit my ball off the tee and now I'm in the fairway. Where do I place my golf bag? I have seen so many people come and drop it right over here, right in front of your ball. How are you going to swing and hit the ball? Rule of thumb, if you're a right hand golfer, your golf bag needs to go on the right hand side in front of your ball. Not back here, not out to the side, just right in front of your ball. You pick the club you want, you come, you approach, you stand behind it, do a small little swing, and then head down and go for it. Do not come and bring your golf bag and put it back here because it's a distraction and you will hit it. You will hit your golf bag. So right hand golfers to the right of your golf ball, left hand golfers to the left of your ball. I have just hit my seven iron from the tee box and I am a little bit short from the hole. Now, I have, I'm no longer carrying my bag. I now have a trolley, what they call in the UK, or a push cart. Yeah. So, where do I put it? Where am I allowed to put it? For example, my ball is right here. Can I put it on this thick grass? You can. Yes. We would still recommend to try to stay about 30 feet from the green. Right. I know it's hard to judge, but like, we would, so we would like would you to be a little it? bit further, probably. Show me. Like as you came off, probably around there would probably be okay. So I would leave my cart here. Yeah. I would look at my hole, look at my ball, figure out what club I want to use. Great. And then come up here and do my practice swings or whatever I'm doing and hit the shot. Yeah, and you would probably bring your putter with you so you don't have to go back and you don't right? kind of bring, bring your, your next club if you, you so know you might. you're not wasting might. time. Yeah, that okay. as well. And also you would probably, when you came up to the hole, you'd want to see where the next tee is. Okay. So like on this hole, the next tee is over there. Like even if your ball was on that, that side, you'd probably bring your bag this way, knowing you're going to go there anyways, and then go over to your ball. And take your two clubs. Take your clubs instead of putting your bag over there because now you're stuck on that side and if right. this is usually what happens people get rushed and then they 100% so you hit your ball from the tee box as you're approaching the green and wherever your ball is as you're approaching it you're either trying to look and see where the next hole is and that's where you will try and take your golf cart Correct. your push yeah, cart exactly right. or your golf physical golf bag on that side and just take your clubs to the ball instead of take like the clubs you need for your shots instead so of I taking my, the hole great so yeah. i have my two clubs and then i would walk up hit my shot putt grab my ball walk off and then go towards my golf bag to the next hole okay so what about if my ball had landed like short like over here Am I still making sure that are am I making sure that my golf my golf cart or my push cart any of that is staying still 30 Correct. feet away? Yeah, you don't, you can almost think as if there's like an imaginary circle around it kind of like a 30 foot circle. Be people used to draw actual white lines like to keep oh, people outside away. kind of. Okay. It was a thing before, but like you, you could always just imagine to kind of stay outside of that. So same idea, right? Is that one you could put your clubs over there and bring your the clubs you need back and then you know go that way. And, and like most people would probably walk up and think, well, I'm just pulling a little cart. It's not a big deal. But right. when there's 250 golfers a day every day doing it that's the issue you know if it's just one person of course it, it's it not a big it. deal but yeah. it's but it's not and people don't realize that that's 250 people every day doing it 
that's how the you damage know what, occurs. Shane, I am going to tell you that I am actually guilty of that. <laughs> I am one of those people who's definitely guilty because for some reason I thought that in my head or I've just maybe seen so much of it growing up playing golf that in your push cart or your trolley, people, because we're thinking that it's smooth and it's soft, I'm bringing it all the way up here. Yeah. So you actually want me to make an imaginary line and have it almost outside and bring my clubs yeah. to them, yeah. right? And of course, unless you have, some people have physical disabilities right. or injuries, you know, obviously we have, we have medical carts for some people who, you know, if you're in a medical cart or you need something like that, it, we allow them to get as closer to the green, you know, just right. certain people, of course, so. But if you're healthy but in general, and, young, yeah, and yeah. you can, you're mobile, like you should yeah. be able to, okay, yeah. this is update for me as well. <laughs> so I'll be telling all my students that. So no push cards. And how about golf carts? Like what are we, what are you saying? Because they're a little bit more aggressive than yeah. a push cart is. Yeah, so totally. We say both of them should, but definitely okay. golf carts. We try to keep no, away as much like as possible. Definitely yeah. no golf cart. But definitely no golf carts. Close sure. by. Yeah. And 100% no golf carts, bags, anything on the green. 100% no. 100% <laughs> no. Nothing. Even if you're carrying your bag, yeah, so you don't nobody set cares. Your, yeah. You do not set your golf bag on the green. No. We have just finished the last hole. We're approaching the next tee box. This is a prime example of what your buggy or your golf cart and your push cart or your trolley should look like. We are not on the tee box. We have come, placed both of them parallel to the tee box. We will grab our club, whatever it is, six iron, and then we would approach the tee box coming from behind. Does that sa seem right to you? Yeah, that sounds perfect. It's exactly how. So only golf bags, if you're carrying, you are allowed to put it on the tee box. Yep. Everything else should be nice and clear. Yeah. Correct? Exactly. No, definitely no golf carts. No golf carts. No buggies at all. And also no, no pull push, carts. Yeah, yeah, no pull carts either. An important part is people don't really know how to put your golf bag onto the golf cart. So let's quickly show you how to do that so you don't feel embarrassed when you're on the course. Always grab your bag where the handle is. Right here, just grab the handle, grab your bag. And if you are the driver, if you are the one, it's your home course and you are the host, you will be driving most probably. So you will go on the left-hand side because that's where the driver goes. If you've ever been invited or if it's a charity golf tournament, if you're a beginner and you have no idea, I highly recommend you put your bag on the passenger side. So just like in the front, like a normal steering wheel in a car, driver, passenger, same thing for your golf bag, driver, passenger. So make sure that it's lined up because I am driving today. I will put my golf bag in here first. So remember, grab your handle and the legs of your golf, the, the part, the stand, it goes in first. You grab the strap, make sure your strap goes through the handle. If it doesn't, sometimes the golf bag still slips out and falls. So you need the strap to go through your handle, let it come through, pull nice and tight. There is a little hole over here. It goes through the hole, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, and then click, Bloop. it clicks. Shake it a little bit. It shouldn't be too loose. Like right now, it's okay. I can make it probably a little bit tighter, but other than that, that's, that is all you need to do. Make sure the loop goes through your handle. If your bag does not have a handle, then make it go through your straps. Just try and have it secure, okay? But the most important thing is if you have been invited or if you're new to golf, just request that you can sit on the passenger side that way you don't have to think okay where does the golf cart go okay am i going out of bounds am i gonna get in trouble just sit at peace and enjoy the round so once your golf bag is nice and secure like mine is 
Where do you put your cell phone? Where do you put your purse? You can put your purse in your golf bag if you would like. I like to have the purse with me in my in the front and my, my cell phone is in here as well. Grab a few balls from your golf bag, grab your glove, grab a few tees. And what you do is you head over here. Oh, because I'm driving, I'm gonna head this way. Head over here. There are compartments up front. So I would put my balls in here, just click them in. I put my purse in this little piece up here and then the passenger would put theirs over there. If there's anything you want to put in the middle, you're welcome to. Remember water, 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 hydrate, make sure you have tons of water. Um, there's a scorecard here with a pencil already in place. This specific golf cart has a GPS for you. So you can have that in here. Um, your teas, any little things that you want, you can put it up front. If you have snacks or food, be careful because on a lot of golf courses, there's birds and wildlife that sometimes come and smell your snacks and they'll eat it. So leave that in your golf bag. The next thing that I like to do is I like to take my driver head cover off and throw it in this little area up here. Some people throw their Gatorade in there. I throw all my head covers in here just to make it easier when I'm playing. I don't have to keep constantly taking them off. In here, what do we have in here? They have water with ice. You can have your own beverages as well. And because it's COVID, they used to have sand. Oh, actually they have it on the side. Come on here. I've already, in my video, I will show you how to use this to fill your divots. But this specific golf cart has the sand already for us. And to clean your golf club, you would just grab it. You have a lot of grass or mud, you stick it in here, and here. You give it a little shake, shake, shake. And you should always have a towel because you've watched my video on what you need in your golf bag. So you will have your towel, you will clean your golf club. You will put it back just like that. You have a dirty golf ball. You take your golf ball. You put it in here like this, and you just go up and down a couple times. Clean your golf ball, pop it out, and same, use your towel to dry it up. When it rains or it's super windy, they have these shields up, but when it's nice and hot, you can definitely push them down. So that's how the shield works up here. And I have never used the storage up here, but I'm assuming people use it for whatever they'd like. So they have that up there as well. And this is the golf buggy, the golf cart. So I wanna give a big thank you to Shane for uh, taking us throughout his course and explaining to us what he does, what jobs are offered um, under his group, as well as etiquette. I mean, you're gonna hear it. I'm gonna keep saying it, etiquette. If you're ever confused, feel free to send me a message on Instagram at Coach Cheyenne. And I know you are already subscribed to my YouTube channel because you have watched my GAPS video on what you're supposed to do in front of the ball. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below. And as always, every Thursday, I release a video. Thanks for watching. See you next week.